Hey guys, Dale here, back with some more RimWorld. Uh, so last we left things, Arna was having a mental break. We had a wedding. She managed to clear her mental break, and she had a successful transition last night. So she got the Fenris Wolf form. Uh, it looks like Pater just becoming became an adult, so experienced combatant jogger. Great. Good combat. Bloodlust. Um, gets a rush from hurting people. But he, ooh, very nimble is actually really nice. So let's do that. Um, we can like double up his melee, his intellectual, and maybe we'll give him some construction. Construction, animal handling, crafting, cooking. They're all ones for him. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and put him here. I've been keeping all the werewolves up front so it's easy to like keep track of them. Let's make sure that that bow is your primary weapon. It's interesting that you have a bow already. We'll get you like a sidearm. Uh, we will assign you to our Viking archers. We've been armoring our werewolves as well, which is kind of weird because like when they wolf out, they drop all their armor. And we've arrived at the legendary grave. So uh, I, have, I have undrafted them but let's draft them and let's take a look what's inside this mysterious mysterious looking coffin um come on let's speed up a little bit abert we'll get you up here and then you guys can just kind of line up right there okay let's open it up and just a dead dude Okay, that happens. Would he have been great? Quick sleeper, green thumb, trigger happy. Okay, he would have been okay. Uh, so looks like we got some gold. I think probably some of the benefit here is just like opening these and seeing if there's like good gear that we can strip off of them. Like not for us to wear, but maybe for us to like uh, melt down. So like some orkelium. I think this is silver, so we can probably claim that and deconstruct it. Um, other than that, just like a little stack of gold, some pemmican. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that they like sleep during the day. I haven't seen anything. Oh, progress render. I uh, haven't seen anything that we'd want to like smelt down yet. What we'd be looking for is like hyperweave, which I think is called rune cloth, and then maybe like some orkelium or mithril gear. Uh, Research-wise, we are starting to research arcane crafting. Looks like we might be able to craft, like, bows like Kif has equipped. Um, Kif's bow, I believe, is a persona weapon, though, so let's take a look at that. It's Chaos Bender, so it's named. And, yeah, Minor Bane and Shock. So, stat-wise, 23 damage is, like, great compared to... What do you have? Uh... 23 damage. Oh, okay. Like, it's the same, I guess. Just looks just looks cooler. It gives them, like, a little green glow. So we'll figure out how to how to get those crafted up. You guys are just going to have a little lunchy lunch. And then just continue opening graves. We'll see if anything interesting pops out. Like, maybe the crown we could smelt for some gold. We don't really have a reason for gold. Just to, like, we could stockpile it. We could make some royal furniture. Yeah, this legendary grave is not super legendary. Did you have anything on you? No, just a bunch of cloth and iron gear. I've raided these before and like they've been there have been tons of armored folks with various types of metal and we've been able to smelt them, but I haven't played this in a while, so I don't know if things have changed. Um, by this I mean like the the Viking Viking faction. Okay, the other thing that we were going to do was we were going to attack this guy. So that's good. Items travel. We'll grab this pemmican. We saw that there was like some gold. Oh my gosh. Just going to type in gold. Uh, I think silver? No. Uh, we must not have deconstructed that thing. Let's take a look at some of these weapons and see what they're made of. Actually, can we just type plasteel? Nope. Mithril. Are all their weapons just steel? 
yeah, we don't we don't really need any of that. So we can just go ahead and send them. They have eight days of food. They'll be there in two, a little more than a little less than two. And then on the way home, it's just gonna take three days. So we're in a good spot right now. I am seeing that there is a warg over here. It would just give us like her scene rewards. Um, so it's not an actual like monster quest. This one also is not a monster quest. A dire wolf. Um, great beast, dire wolf. There's two man hunting rats there. Warg, possible unknown threat, possible unknown threat. The dire wolf I'm kind of interested in because we can use its pelt to create um, some interesting looking gear. Uh, but I'm not really sold on that. So we'll see if things pop up the next few days. The other thing that we need to remember is that we are taking care of some woolly mammoths right now. Oh, it's snowing. Um, and so we're expecting sometime within the next 12 days uh, two raids. So I think I want to take care of these, this beast and then get these guys home and then we'll work on completing that quest this episode. Okay, cool. Um, next up is those bows and arrows. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at some of those recipes to see how um, how expensive they are, what material they, that we need. Uh, I noticed here we can mine emeralds, sapphires, amber, citrine. I think some of those precious stones might be needed for some of that arcane crafting. Okay, so this is what we could be using some gold for. These... Arcane weapons. Let's take a look at some of these descriptions. We already have an emerald bow. Is there anything special about it? Details. Loving this bow imbued with magical energies and can allow the, okay, from great distances. Damage 16, range 32. I wonder what those magical abilities are, though. Um, it's all very, like, colorful. Uh, I'm not sure if that, like, super fits in. And it could be cool that Kif just kind of, like, has a rare one. It would be nice to find more Persona weapons. We just haven't been getting, like, any any quests for them. Um, Argo Nexus. Oh, okay. So we do have two more quests here. Jump to the monster encounter. Okay, it's up north. And then... This one, I assume, is the other one. Okay. How far is that from here? Uh, five days away. So I think we head home. We handle the raid. This will be here for 24 days. And then we'll head up that way. I think that's kind of like our long-term, probably like multi-episode plan. We'll take care of the raids today. And then we'll do more monster hunting tomorrow. Okay, we've arrived at this latest dragon encounter. Having Havert go in, I might have him wolf out just so he's faster. And he's the only tank that we have this time. So... There we go. Okay. Ooh, this is acid burn. Receiving minor burns. Oh, I thought it was like a toxic buildup, but it's acid and it's going down. Okay. Orders and forbid the things. Okay, nice. Good to go. Quest wise, that means we have two more to do. We already have one of those quests, so let's do world. Let's go ahead and get you guys home. Items, can we pick up? Yes, uh, not all this. Let's pick up all of Abert's clothes and gear. Um, Arcanium, sure. Travel supplies. There's always like random heal root on the map. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and send. And then gear, Abert, you are naked. So we're just gonna like throw some cl these clothes back on you. It is winter. I think you might get a little cold if we were just to leave them. Cool. And they'll be home in about a day. Okay, we're getting ready to lock up uh, Peter, and we got a quest. Orkelium. Tons of Orkelium. And an Arcanium staff as an option, so 980. Arcane staff threaded with mana-focusing materials. 
Its main purpose is to enhance the wielder's magical aptitude and assist with arcane load dissipation, allowing more use of spells. So we could give that to, we could give that to like one of our non-wolves and an arcanium vest. We do, we have been collecting some arcanium gear. Like if we, we have a shirt, a vest, I think we might have a robe somewhere. Yeah, a couple shirts. So that would give us a couple of us. I guess we could outfit a couple people that way. Oh, this silk ancient acolyte cowl. I think also, yeah, magical aptitude offset. offset. Um, yeah, let's accept this. We'll take it for, oh, this is hard. Intellect shrouded dagger. Allows the wielder to remain light on their feet, increasing their melee dodge chance and reducing the chance of them trigger triggering hidden traps. Um... The dagger is kind of neat, too. Uh, oh my gosh. I think we go for this one, because we want tons of Orkelium. We're going to get not a ton. Um, yeah, I think this would be good enough to, like, outfit outfit us and then we could give someone this dagger as an offhand so we're gonna accept it for that uh schedule let's have everyone inside the walls it was like 75 lions um let's have these doors closed who's awake why don't you come do that for me and you're here perfect it's gotten so dirty around the base i realized that like all of our cleaning time during the winter is snow clearing our paths so it is just like disgusting everywhere but we'll come back when these lions show up okay the fenrir form seems to be a popular form um which feels thematic like considering this is from like the vikings mod uh we know that we're not gonna have any problems with this so we'll just make sure no one is going in there and we are still what seven hours away from lions so they'll be popping in um early early morning oh my that is a lot of lions okay 75 of them uh we have people going to their defensive positions why do i do not like that people just like randomly equip things. Okay. Oh, and we have traders leaving. Maybe they they might get caught up in some of the They're like going back to their muffalos. LOL. LOL. Just like the growling. Yeah, Julius is going in. These guys are going to get slaughtered. We just sold them a bunch of stuff that we didn't want, and we're going to get it all back. Maybe the Muffalos will, like, wander off the map. Okay, so... Let's see. They are Neanderthals. Ugh. Well, some of them are Impids. Okay, you guys... Let's do, let's have you just like stand there. Um, white, let's move you over. I think that's good. Maybe Alf can come over as well. And yeah. That's fine. Um, okay. Yeah, they just like tore through those traders. Uh, Priska must have like gotten down and got back up. She might be able to make it off the map, but she's not looking good. Okay. It's going to be pretty much like a non event. It's just kind of like wild that we're at like 75 lions as our manhunters. Drop some Luciferium. Drop some drugs. Our 
servants just oblivious to what's going on outside our walls. Albert, do you want to tease them? I think I think we can call that good. Um, I know that there is one still kind of like wandering around. Let's Albert just like go finish this guy off. Actually, White took care of it. Okay. Um. Well, I don't think we have time for much else today. Uh, I think I will kind of just play for a little while and then we will come back when this first raid shows up senator lost okay that doesn't matter uh it doesn't matter to us and then what i want to do is we were making that out of steel uh let's say no steel let's say no steel here and or kellium uh we should be getting some as soon as these guys just kind of like linger linger around until they go off into wherever lions go after they die anyhow thanks for hanging out you guys i'll catch you next time until then have a good one bye